workout is gonna be all about that booty. Got a really, really good one for you today. It's gonna take you less than 20 minutes to complete. I'm gonna be using a band, but you do not need one. The band's just gonna add a little bit more resistance to the outside of our hips so we can get another area of our glutes that often is underworked. Today's workout is gonna be set up in a metabolic style circuit. So we're gonna do four total rounds with four total exercise. Uh, each exercise in round one is 30 seconds long and we get a 30 second rest. Round two, each exercise will be 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, round three, 50, 10. And then when we get to round four, 60 seconds of work for each exercise, no rest in between. This is really going to be a really high intensity workout, but it's low impact. We're not gonna do any jumping. We will be doing some squats, so there's still going to be that. If you have sore knees, I can, we can make modifications as necessary. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. If you have a band, go ahead and grab one. Mine is pretty heavy, it's pretty resistant, so if you have a heavier band, grab it. If you don't have a band, don't worry. I have water on hand, I've got my nifty timer. I'm going to walk through each exercise as we go. So I'm gonna show you the first one and then we're gonna get right on into it. I'll utilize the rest breaks to show you the next one. Right, if you have that band, your first exercise is gonna be a sumo squat or a wide stance squat. So you're going to put that band around your ankles, get your feet into that wide stance, and then you're just gonna squat down and up, making sure your knees are tracking your toes. So you might actively have to push your knees out to fight that resistance if you have this band. And even if you don't have the band, make sure the knees are tracking those toes. 30 seconds. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you from the side. I really want you to pay attention to what my hips are doing. Here we go. So get as wide as you can with that band. You're gonna squat down and back up, squeezing the glutes, full hip extension. Weight's balanced in my feet. I'm not rocking back into my heels. I'm squeezing those glutes at the top. Abs are tight. Less than 10 seconds to go. So because our legs are wide, we're gonna work a little bit more at the glutes and our inner thighs. Rest. Okay, you all get 30 seconds. I'm gonna use that time to show you the next move. If you have a band, move it up above the knees. We're gonna do a glute bridge pulse. Get down on the mat, belly button just fine, low back press into the ground, bridge up and pulse. So you're barely touching your butt back before you bring it up. You want the band above the knees, enough resistance to feel it against those hips. All right, enjoy this rest. Here we go, 30 seconds. So it's a pulse, so you're barely tapping and then squeezing at the top. Knees are far enough apart where you feel a little bit resistance if you have a band. If you don't have a band, this is just as good. You have to actively squeeze those glutes on your own. You're not gonna wanna do them on your own. If you feel your low back engaging, reset yourself. Start over, belly button to spine, low back, rest into the ground. Rest. Okay, y'all are resting. Move that band back to the ankles. We're gonna be doing a combination move. I'm gonna have you take a few steps to the left and then you're just gonna do a good morning. You're gonna hinge at your hips. A few steps to the right and then do a good morning. I will be showing you from the side so you can really pay attention to my um, hip hinge here. And here we go. So you're gonna take a few steps. Hinge, you're pushing your sit bones back behind you. Coming up, squeezing the glutes. A few steps to the other side. You can take more steps if you want. When you are walking side to side, make sure your toes are pointed straight ahead. Keeping those abs tight. You want that back to be neutral. Rest. Okay, this last one, I'm gonna go ahead and take the band off. We're gonna do alternating single leg deadlifts. You're gonna reach, hinge at the hips, one leg at a time, and switch. If this is too difficult, use your opposite leg as a kickstand. You have to keep that back nice and neutral. Don't let it round in order to touch the toes. All right, almost there. Three, two, one. Here we go. So you notice I'm hinging at my hips. I'm not bending at the waist. I'm pushing my sit bones, so I'm pushing my hips and glutes behind me. 
I'm pivoting in that knee joint, but I'm not squatting down. This is gonna work the glutes, it's also gonna work your hamstrings as well. Again, the modification would be to use your other leg as a little kickstand. Rest. That's it, that's round one. It's as simple as that. We have three more rounds to go, but as I said before, we're going to increase the work and decrease the rest. So I'm gonna get the timer going. Moving this up 40 seconds now and 20 seconds of rest. This would be a really, really great workout to add on either before um, a workout or to add on at the end. Or if you want to make this more of a longer workout, you can do that. You can do five rounds, you can do six rounds. The options are endless. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get ourselves set up. We've got round two, starting with these sumo squats. Get that band on around the ankles. Here we go. We've got wide stance, balance in those feet, squat down, come back up. Abs are tight. Weight is balanced in those feet so you're not rocking back into the heels. Remember to get those knees out. They have to track the toes. If you're struggling to do that, bring your feet in. Make it a more narrow stance. 10 seconds left. squeeze those glutes. They should be talking to you at this point. Keep going. Rest, 20 seconds. Bam, goes back to the ankles. Monster walks, which is what we call the lateral side to side walks with the hinge. So I'm going to do it facing you this time. Here we go. So I'm going to start with that hinge, come up, steps. Remember, I'm maintaining this width here to get maximum work out of my glutes and my hips. And hinge. This hinge is really going to work the hamstrings and the glutes. Squeeze. Maintain this distance. Don't let it close up. You want to have constant tension through this band, even when doing that good morning or dud lift. Abs are tight. They're braced. Ooh. Rest. Band comes off. If you have it for that last exercise in this round, single leg deadlifts. Here we go. Use that kickstand if you need it. If it's too challenging, that's okay. We're all at different levels here. So stick with the deadlift, stick with that good morning. Just do have both legs on the ground, hinge at the hips. So my torso is only going down enough until that my hips can't go back any further. I'm not continuing down to touch my toe. It's all about how far you can push your sit bones back behind you. Rest. Round two done. Told you this is really, 
a really impactful workout, but it's not high impact. We're not jumping. It's a little bit easier on the joints. Okay. Work time increasing. 50 seconds. 10 seconds rest. Let's grab some water. Get that band around the ankles if you have it. Round three is about to start. All right. Get that band ready. 50 seconds of work. We got this, y'all. Hit style workouts don't always need to be high impact. It can always be high intensity, but we can lower the impact here. 50 seconds. Here we go. Single squats. throughout the band, so I'm kneeling on the outside as well. Almost there. Keep going. Keep squeezing. Ten seconds rest. Band back around the ankles. We've got the monster with the deadlift. Here we go. So hinge. Squeeze. Couple steps, hinge. So I'm switching it back to a side view because I really want you to pay attention to my hinge. Pushing the hips back, I'm not bending at the waist. It's also a good example of how you can do this with not a lot of space. When you come up out of that hinge, squeeze the glutes and start your walking. 20 seconds left. Remember to maintain tension in this band. 10 seconds, y'all. Less than five, here we go. Woo, no rest. We got five seconds actually now, but single leg deadlifts, here we go. so involved in every single one of these exercises. You gotta keep it braced, you gotta keep it active. It's what's gonna help protect our back in this case. Everything from the top of your head through your tailbone is moving in one piece. Remember to breathe. Push your sit bones back behind you. Weight is balanced in the feet. Keep going. I like to go opposite hand, opposite foot. That way you can maintain balance. Rest. Round three is done. We just have one more round. That is it. But this round is gonna be 60 seconds of work. It's gonna be brutal. For this round, like I mentioned earlier, 
We are going to be doing that glute bridge. If you have a band, we're just gonna keep it around our ankles for that, just to make the transition more seamless. Okay, we've got 60 seconds of work. Zero seconds of rest. Okay, before I hit start, let's get ourselves into the appropriate position. If you have a band, around the ankles. Let's do this, last round. I told you, it's gonna be a quick one. Band around the ankles, timer is on. Last round, let's do most squats. Like I mentioned before, when the feet are farther apart from each other, wider than shoulder distance, we get a little bit more activation in our inner thighs and in our glutes. Still working the front of our legs, it's still working the quads, but we just get a tiny bit more activation in some of those stabilizing muscles. Halfway officially. Make sure those knees are tracking the toes. Squeeze those glutes. Y'all are doing great. Keep those abs nice and tight. The core is braced. Less than 10 seconds to go. We got this. Glute bridge is coming up next. In three, two, one, moving straight into it. Keep the band where it is. If you have it on, straight into the glute bridge pulses. 60 seconds. If you're feeling it a lot in the front of your legs, move your feet farther from farther away from your butt. Ooh, those glutes are on fire. Little pulses here. Remember, we're barely tapping our butt to the ground before we come back up. That low back is getting involved, restart. Get yourself back on the ground. Press the low back into the ground and then start over. Up next, we're gonna have the monster walks with the deadlift. Ooh, my glutes are burning. Ooh, no rest, hop right on up. We've got the deadlift, monster walks. So I'm gonna show you from this angle. So you can see I'm maintaining distance in that band. Squeeze those glutes at the top, keep that distance. Hips should be burning. Straight ahead. One more move after this. This is and it will be the alternating single leg deadlifts.
So thank you for joining me today. As always, like and subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them down below. I'd be happy to do any video that you want me to do, different workouts, anything, you name it. And until next time, have a wonderful day.